Hello everyone, David Paul speaking. Uh, I've just done an update at vectorvest.co.uk forward slash welcome on uh, putting together my big hitter search uh, with the Midas Touch. And in this little video, I just want to try and talk you through that. Uh, there's three steps to um, uh, my uh, simple approach uh, in using uh, Vectorvest. And uh, the first step uh, is market timing. And I think Dr. Delito himself put it so well when he says that the single most important thing to know is whether the market is moving up or down. Everything else follows from that. So the first step is market timing. And uh, I've done a lot of this before on this forum, but on the front page of Vectorvest, uh, we uh, do our best to answer those questions of market timing completely. Uh, first of all, uh, I'm looking uh, at uh, Friday's close, that, and that would be Friday uh, after the uh, non-farm payroll uh, report, that's the 4th of April. Uh, and uh, here we've got 526 buys on the London market, 365 sales, and that means that the buy-sell ratio has increased to 1.44. And if we look at the color guard, we can see that a short-term rate of change of the price uh, is in the green. Uh, the acceleration of the price, which is a rate of change of the rate of change, is in the green. And uh, the number of shares is rising over the number of shares falling. And uh, that's resulted in the short-term trend or the primary wave being up. And uh, the longer-term trend is also up. And we've had a confirmed call, and that confirmed call came up. Uh, on the 28th of May. So we have the, the, the London market uh, rising uh, and uh, rising across the board where the primary wave is up and the secondary wave is up. So things look good uh, on that particular score. So we're, I'm reasonably happy to say that uh, the London market is trending up and trending up fairly strongly. Now the second uh, step is to find some shares uh, to trade. And uh, to find some shares, I just click on Viewer and uh, click on Stock Viewer. Uh, I have written a Unisearch uh, for my uh, own very conservative search called The Big Hitters, uh, but it's quite easy to eyeball. Uh, all I'm looking for are shares that are undervalued. In other words, that their price is less than their value. And the relative value is above 1.3, and the relative safety is above 1.25. Uh, so uh, I see Next. Next is undervalued. It's trading at 66. We believe it's worth 77. The relative value is 1.29. Uh, I, I, I put it in. Uh, it's close enough. But uh, the relative safety is 1.48. Uh, and uh, it's rising strongly. Uh, Numus, I put in. Uh, I'm just highlighting it again. And to highlight, folks, just hold the control key down. Uh, that uh, causes some people, I know, to stress a little bit. But... Uh, Control, if you control, uh, hold the control key down, you can highlight them all. Uh, JD Sports is in, 156, 141. Fly BE doesn't make it in my book. It's, it's undervalued. Uh, the relative value is really good. The relative safety is quite low. Uh, so I'm going to ignore that. But nevertheless, uh, for some people uh, who are aggressive, uh, that looks like a, a trading proposition. For example, if my son Michael was looking at this, he would be really attracted to that because he likes shares with uh, that are undervalued, that have a high relative value, and he doesn't particularly worry about the relative safety because he's sitting uh, watching them on the screen from 8 o'clock till 5 o'clock every single day. Uh, plus 500. Uh, I, I ignored that as well because of the relative safety. Uh, and pressure technology I'm ignoring as well because of the relative safety. Kingfisher would be in. Uh, Moss Brothers, in terms of RV, wouldn't be in. Uh, Body Coat would be in. Bellway would be in. The Dart Group would be in. Galliford Try would be in. And Lookers would be in. So I, I've just done that uh, very simply. And we could go down uh, and find lots and lots more. But I don't want to keep uh, you uh, waiting for the third step. The third step is that uh, I've now found shares that are undervalued, that should aggressively grow their earnings, relative value, safely, relative safety. Now, there's a hundred more searches. I'm just using the big hitters. It's worked well over the last few uh, uh, years for me. I'm now going to hit on graph selected, and I, we're going to chart uh, those shares that have been selected. And guys, uh, 
I defaulted to the big uh, to the maddest touch search here, but you, when you actually uh, go into this first, there's a good chance that you're going to be here at the vector vest layout. So just for the third step, just click on maddest touch, and you're going to see two windows. The top window, green line and the red line. The green line is a 10-day moving average of the vector vest stop loss. And the red line is a 65-day moving average of the vector vest stop loss. If the green is above the red, the trend is up. Now, down below, we have a 40-day average of the vector vest relative timing. And this gives a broad measure of the trend and the strength of the trend. And it, because the 40-day average filters out all the noise, so it's a very smooth line. Now, the third step is that you chart uh, the shares uh, in your watch list. Uh, my watch list is very conservative. Many will have a much more aggressive watch list than I. Uh, and just click on the three month button. And to get into the big hitters stroke Midas Touch watch list, all three need to be making new highs over the three months. So we can see here easily that um, the RT is at a three-month high. Uh, the 65-day average is at a three-month high. And the 10-day average is at a three-month high. So next goes in. Next fits the bill. Next, oh, Numus is difficult. Uh, clearly, these are at new highs. Uh, and that one is slightly off a high. Uh, if I were to uh, play it totally by the book, then uh, Numus would not be in. But uh, I've, I've kept Numus in my little search. Uh, a JD would not be in. These are making new highs, but the RT isn't. Uh, so um, a Kingfisher would be in. Both these are making new highs over the three months. Uh, Body Coat would be in. Bellway wouldn't be in. The RT hasn't made a, a new high uh, over the, this is the highest point over the last three months. Uh, uh, Dart wouldn't be in, unfortunately. I really like Dart, but it's not in. Uh, Galliford Try is certainly in. All three lines making new highs. Uh, and uh, Lookers would certainly be in. And that's it of the, of the few that I've listed. So uh, what I've done is that I've, uh, let's review what we've done. Uh, first of all, the London market is rising. Both the short term trend and the longer term trend is up. That's good. Uh, everything, as Dr. Lido says, everything uh, starts from there. Secondly, I found a hit list of shares that are undervalued, that are aggressively growing their earnings safely. A very conservative watch list for a, a chap who's pushing 60. Uh, and then thirdly, I've looked at the technical position of those by looking at their longer term trends and their longer term momentum filtering out all of the noise. And uh, if you look at VectorVest and the education that VectorVest has done, they've proved conclusively that those shares move out of the blocks quickly and easily without a great deal of fuss. So there's no excuses anymore, folks, that you haven't got time to make this work because you can do that in a few minutes a week. It's David Paul here. Thank you. Bye-bye.